everybody and welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. Today we are going to be doing something that actually is going to work for you. We will give you every single location, the go-to locations uh, to every single blueprint. So that's all 16 blueprints. They will be put up on the screen as we get to the actual location and we'll also have them all down in the description for you as well. So James has actually spent a lot of time getting you the go-to coordinates to every single one of these um, blueprints. So the ones that other people have been using have been sort of giving you the general area of where you may land and then you're going to have to go find them. These ones are going to drop you right on them. So there's no dicking around. So you could probably knock out all 16 blueprints in about five minutes if you're good. So let's get started to it. The first one we're going to go to is the Powered Cross. Alrighty, and that will land you right underneath it, as promised. This one is a powered cross. Every single video, uh, sorry, every single um, blueprint will have the coordinates on the screen here and also in the description, remember that. Um, I'll also have a map of every location, just if it's easier for you, you don't have to use the coordinates. Uh, I'll put that towards the end of the video. They'll have every single, um, every location for you on a map. All right, let's move over to the next one. This one is the Spotlight. Oh yeah, right there, as promised. Beautiful, you did a good job of this, James. Yep. Pretty much got it bang on. Can't ask for much, ask for much better than that. All right, we're going to move over to the clock. Okay, the Gore Clock. That's a nice, easy one to get to. This is pretty much bang on in the middle of the map as well, right in the mountain. All right, we're going to move over to the Gore Chair. Alrighty, the next one is the gore chair, which is not directly below you, but if you move to the other side of the room, it will be there. Alright, what's the next one we need to get, James? We need to get the It'll gore the couch. couch. Alrighty, the gore couch. Oh, the priest outfits here as well. Yep. Nice. There's uh, a couple of double ones. Yeah. That's you just got to be looking for it. That's nice. Now you got some batteries here and stuff as well. Might as well pick up a few things while we're here. All right, let's move over to the launcher. hang glider launcher. All righty, there it is, right below my feet. And it's dark and creepy in here. Hey. Some of these caves, I tell you, very, very creepy. All righty, let's move over to the plating, the, um, what was it, the item plater. Yeah. All righty. This is the item plater. That one is pretty cool. I don't know. I haven't used it all that much. Not everything will have like an upgrade on your weapons. I think certain things do, but like your shotgun and stuff like that won't. All right. What's the next one we need to get? The gold armor plater. Alrighty. Right there. Gold armor plater. This is right at the door. Right, yeah. that's a door. Oh, that's not good. If people have this, they could just set this thing up and finish the game. <laughs> yeah. They, in theory, they could. If you, if I did this blueprint up right now. Yeah, you could finish it. Oh, as long as I had the gold armor. But you could get the gold armor without actually getting the gold armor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh. And then you're, you're pretty much out. Oh, well. There's someone, that's something for somebody if they want to finish the game quickly. Yep. We All can right. give them the information. It's up to them what they do with it. That's it. I'm not held responsible if you don't do the game properly. <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's up to you. Okay. So what's the next one? The Attract Shrine. Yeah. Let's get that one. Okay. That one is right here as well. So that one should attract people to you. Oh, that's a, that one actually makes, makes a solid fight too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That makes a solify and attracts any sort of cannibal. No, mute. No, cannibal and mutants, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yeah. Bit, bit of both. Okay. Uh, let's move over to the repel shrine. Okay. Where are you? Oh, right behind me. There we go. Now, if you have any issues where you fall through the earth or anything like that, just put the command back in and it'll. Um, Pretty much bring you back to the right location. Sometimes you just drop through the earth for no reason. It happens when you do these um, console commands and 
what do you call it, coordinates and stuff like that. Yeah. All righty, let's move over to the teleporter. All right, there we go, the teleporter. This is definitely one of my favorite things that came out from the 1.0 update. Nothing easier than getting home when you're using this thing. All right, let's go and get the spear thrower. Okay, spear thrower. Where are you? Oh, right there. Beautiful. And you got some spears too. Excellent. What else? Always is handy. Here? Oh, yes. Just use it for beating Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Good lad. He only because he deserves it. Oh, I wouldn't say he deserves it. Yeah, no, he kind of does. Yeah, yeah, yeah he kind of does. <laughs> he annoys the shit out of me. Okay, <laughs> let's move over to the spin trap. James's favorite thing of all time. Alrighty. Where is it? Right by me. Beautiful. Love the spin trap. This is awesome. Alrighty, let's move over to the grinder trap. Hey. Okay. Oh, right by me again. Beautiful. Grinder. Another good one. Love it. I'm pretty sure there's an artifact in here as well. Yeah, there is. Just if anyone wants to know. We'll get that. Might as well while we're here. Alrighty, what's next, James? It'll be the Uber. Uber trap. Let's go and get that one. Alrighty, Uber trap. This is actually probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I really... Oh, there it is. I really love this trap. Yep. And they've you made do. it a lot bigger. They've made it a lot bigger since they first released it. It's like doubled inside, if not tripled. It used to be very small. So I don't know why, but they increased it. What else we got around here where we have a quick look? Some... Oh, yeah. Love it. Cloth everywhere around here. Uh, not everywhere, but a tandy for new new people. Oh yes, cloth is like so rare to find. Okay, last one. We're gonna go and get the leg lamp. Okay, final one. Leg lamp. Where are you? Oh, there. I love the leg lamp. Like I hate the look of it, but I love the actual the lamp. I wish they would bring out like better options other than a leg couldn't they make it out of like a stick or something <laughs> yeah would have been a lot better all right what do we got here oh we got heaps of cloth well, not heaps but you know what i mean it's a lot for one area okay yeah. that is pretty much it that's all 16 blueprints and you could probably smash that out in under five minutes if you really really wanted to like we could have done a lot quicker but we didn't it's more cloth there that's not cloth Ready to make sure. Galore. Batteries, heaps of them. Beautiful. Um, isn't this the way into the another artifact? This uh, one here? Yes, it actually is. Um, you got to go through. Where is it? Where's the through? Um, hang on. I thought it was. That's right. They moved it. Oh, there's ammo here. Cool. Um, they moved this. Yeah, no, this used to be the way to an artifact, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Or was it up here? Oh, gosh. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it used to be. This is not yeah. it anymore. Yeah. I, I remember this one. Yep. Is this it, is why the video is being done. Is that a Calvin? Oh, no, that's a thing. Okay. All right, awesome. Beautiful. Hopefully this helped everyone out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.